What's going on everybody? It's me, Justin, aka Goodwill Hunter, and we are back up in Buford at the Goodwill. I ran out of Pokeballs, so I can't catch any more Pokemon until I hit some pit stops, so I guess I'll have to go to the mall. But in lieu of that, let's go thrift, see what we can find. There's been a lot of video games up here uh, as of late, and I think this week it's yellow is a sticker. So let's look for yellow and look for whatever else we can find. This one is probably hit or miss. But we're here, and right across the street is the Value Village, so we'll hit that one right after. So, fingers crossed. Alrighty, well, we're over at the Value Village across the street from that Goodwill. The only thing I was able to find in there was a copy of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Vancouver 2010 for the Wii. It is complete, and I paid five bucks for it. Uh, they had, you know, decent amount of games, and some of them were pretty good. I, I had some of them, so I, I left you know, some of those titles there for other people to find are really not worth picking up and trying to get money or trade at $5. So this is the only one that I didn't have. So I figured I'd add it to the collection. Let's go inside here. Let's hopefully find some really cheap shit because they do have some more board games in there. And I'm thinking about maybe possibly picking up another three. Uh, they have another couple bundles, but again, they're 25 bucks a piece. So I don't know, I'm conflicted, but uh, I have sold at least two out of the three that I did have. So yeah, I made like, what, 40, 50 bucks profit. It's not bad, but again, uh, I wish it was more, because if those were only worth, if they were only selling them for a dollar, two dollars a piece, there'd be a lot more profit. I'd be probably making like 100, 120 bucks. Anywho, that's me bitching and complaining about stuff that no one gives a fuck about. Let me go inside and see what I can find.
All right, well, we're out of the Value Village. We're over here at the Video Game Trader. I got some Skylanders I need to get rid of and probably just get whatever I can get because you don't get shit for them. Uh, but I did find a lot of board games, unopened, brand new, and I paid $9 for these three smaller ones, and I got uh, two large ones and two other small ones for a total of 23. So I paid about, uh, what is it, $34. And I would have gotten more. They had one more stack, but I didn't have enough PayPal. So I have a lot of stuff tied up, but this will, again, give me some good influx. Uh, first off, I got this one. It's called Seven Dragons. Uh, brand new. Retails, so I think, for about 15 to 20 uh, It's just a simple little card game. Really quick. Uh, we got the, what is it? The, the Castles of Burgundy. Again, retails for about 15 to 20. Uh, this one called Samurai Sword. Again, retails for around 15 to 20. Uh, then some of the bigger ones, we got Heroes Wanted. This goes for around 30 to 35. This one is probably gonna cost me 15 to ship, so I'll probably list it for around 40. Uh, Adventure Time, Card Wars. Again, didn't look this one up, but I'm pretty sure it probably goes 15 to 20. Uh, another copy of Castles of Burgundy, 15 to 20. And last but not least, the big ticket to ride. Uh, this one might cost, again, this is probably about 15 to. Um, they've been making them so they kind of fit inside the large uh, priority mail shipping box. So I'm hoping that one does. Uh, but I'm thinking that one's probably going to be a $45 to $50 one. So pretty decent. That should give me some pretty good profit. Uh, just selling one of these uh, will pay for pretty much all of them. So anything after that is good. But let's get in there and let's get rid of these Skylanders. I'm going to head back to work, edit this video, get it up for y'all. Uh, as always, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it. If you did not like it, you probably have cancer in your ass. So go get two fingers up your butt. Whew. As always, guys, keep up the thrift, and I'll thrift with you later. So I turned that box of Skylanders into a Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Would you turn off that rock and rock music? Hey, you don't have a Stegosaurus, man. You ever look at two cartoons and feel they're a little too similar? Well, that's what this video is about. The top 10 worst, most blatant ripoffs. Not necessarily ripoffs, but just ones that happen to share very common traits with one another. Accidental or intentional. It's juice and jam time. I'll take them. How much? What? For these? I don't have that kind of money. Ripoff artist? Oh, my shit!